Welcome to the Dell ROV simulator. We've created a completely customizable, uh, physically interactive ROV simulator for the 2012 missions. As you can see here, we've laid out here a representative Olympic swimming pool, which we feel will be close to the YMCA in the Florida for the 2012 missions. However, we could have just as easily have created the NASA Neutral Buoyancy Center or an actual underwater scene involving the USS Arizona. The design is completely flexible. Here you can see we've got a representative ROV. Our ROV isn't designed yet, but it could look something like this. And our interface is designed to as closely match a real-life command center as possible. You can see we've got the three monitors allowed by the mate competition. And you know, we can toggle to see how to actually drive the craft, but we don't want to take up uh, too much space with that. So, let's start the missions. We descend, and you'll notice that first off we have a bottom camera. We have to figure out which zone we're going to. These are the three explorer zones set up. So we're the left-hand team. So we're going to descend and go down toward our mission zone. Everything here, the mass, the drag, how fast this craft is going, is uh, very easy to edit, it's completely customizable, so we will use this in our design process. We can easily test where we want to put our cameras, what kind of viewing angles those cameras should have, where our tools should be located, uh, what shape the tools should be. Ooh, I just knocked a brick over. You can tell that the environment is completely interactive, and essentially we'll use this as a tool to rapidly iterate our design. We can come up with a design scenario for cameras, for tools, and test how it will look and feel extremely quickly. This is much easier to edit than it is to actually build a craft and put it in a pool. So here's the calibration box. We go over to calibrate. We have to be careful. Sometimes we don't weight it properly when we go test and we can knock it over. So everything is realistic. Right now I've made the ROV very powerful just so that I can show you how these move around. In real life, I probably wouldn't be able to move these as easily. So now we go over to the mast, which in the real missions we're supposed to actually attach a tether to and lift away. For this, uh, right now, I'm just going to push it out of the way. So you can see, again, completely interactive physics. The mast falls away, lands on the sea bottom floor. Now this exposes both the targets and the coral. So we can come up and we can get the feel for what it looks like on our craft to view the targets. How good is our camera angle? Does anything interfere with that? Right now that arm is kind of sticking out a lot. We can also take a look at the coral. Uh, maybe we want to use a different camera. So we have four cameras installed and I just switched to a different one. And let's also shine some lights on it. So you can see essentially we can completely mirror a craft or make several different design choices and test them easily and efficiently. Another really useful feature of the simulator is that it allows the pilot to gain practice. One of the largest problems we've had, and I suspect many teams have, is that the pilots don't actually get a lot of practice on the vehicles, so it's hard for them to get a feel for where their craft is. They have very limited camera angles to work with generally. So um, say a pilot was silly and he tried to go into this hole. He's now surrounded by the ship's superstructure and if I try to go forward I get stuck. If I try to go up I get stuck. If I try to spin or go backwards I get stuck. And it's really um, this is one of our main sticking points in the missions has historically been that we don't have the practice. So this simulator lets a pilot get hours and hours of practice on an ROV fairly close to our actual design on a missions playing field and pool setup again fairly close not perfect but representative of the actual missions. So this lets us overall more quickly iterate our designs and it gives our pilot a lot of practice. So now we've finished the demonstration and our pilot has finished practicing. So we're going to head up back to the surface. Mission complete.